Good morning. We're going to attempt this morning, by means of this screencast, to demonstrate how to create and upload a simple web page using Microsoft Word. The first thing we want to do is to pull up a new Word document, which I've already done. And really, you really don't like to look at a white web page, or I don't, uh, so I'm going to give this web page some color. And to do that, we go to Format, open that up, come down until we come to the word background. We're going to click on background and a little color palette will open for us here and I'm going to choose blue. We can now close that little background box. Now let's open our toolbox so that we can have some editing choices. The size by default for our text is 12 and that's a little difficult to read at the so I'm going to make that a 28 and I'm going to center that text. Choose alignment and spacing, open that up and simply center. And now I'm going to choose a text color and I'm going to go up here and choose something that will contrast with a blue background for the purpose of this demonstration. Let's use yellow. And Now we simply enter the text. This is my first yep, got a spell web page okay now let's drop that down a little bit and, and make it a little more visually appealing we can just simply put the cursor over here and hit the return key a few times and there it is and that's it you've just created a web page all we have to do now is save it and then upload it to the ETSU server or whatever server is hosting uh, the thing that you're creating. In this case it is the ETSU web server. So we go to file and now we want to save this document and we're going to save it as a web page. Save as web page. We'll choose that and when it when the box drops down you want to be sure that you have the name of it in here that you can find again. So this is my first web page. You can name it anything you want to and the file extension will be HTML. That stands for Hypertext Markup. That will be there by default. You want to choose the place where you would like to save this document so that we can find it in a few minutes. And, you know, I just, I'm going to put it in the folder called Documents and I know what its name is so I can go to that folder and find it fairly easy. Check the format. Be sure that it says Web Page uh, open parentheses dot html close parentheses that should be there by default but if it's not open the box and choose that it wants to be a web page okay having done that you can now save it and uh, I've already created one before that I uploaded so but I'm gonna just replace it now that is there we can close that out it's there we can find it we're gonna go down to our dock we're gonna choose cyberduck as the uh, vehicle that we're going to use to put this now on the server. Um, and to do that we simply, once it's open, we choose Open Connection. Um, when it comes down it's going to ask us for to identify the server that we want to put it on. And the server is in lowercase letters FTP colon forward slash forward slash. The FTP will go away but don't worry it's still there. Um, what we want to do now is enter the information, the identifying information for the server, and that is as follows. Students, S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S dot E-T-S-U dot E-D-U. Come down next and uncheck the box that says anonymous login, because you don't want to be anonymous. You have to identify yourself in order to log in. On username, this is where you identify yourself you want to put the name that you use when you log on to D2L. In my case, it's Powers JE. Then you will enter the password that you use when you log on to D2L. Once you've done that, you simply choose Connect. Now what's happening is, is it, it has already, as you can see, gone to the UTS server, uploaded that file that we just created called This Is My First Web Page. It's uh, 10.2 kilobytes. If that was a zero, you would know you didn't upload anything, but we did, uh, in fact, upload some data. 
uh, it's at 10.2 kilobytes. So that is there. The assignment is complete. You have created a web page and you have uploaded it to, the, to your uh, web space on the ETSU server. So now we can simply end this. That's, that's all there is to it. It's just that simple. Oh, let me say this. Now, you can now, we just made that very simple, but you can, can go back to your documents, bring that, that uh, page up again, and add anything you want to to it. You can put your name on it to date, any uh, requirements the instructor may have for entering data, do anything you want to, put a picture on it if you want to. You can then save it again and, and repeat these same steps and upload it uh, to the ETSU server. And when you do that, the new document, the new data will simply overwrite this. There won't be two copies on the server. It'll only be one. It'll be the last one that you created and uploaded. It will just simply overwrite this as long as it has the same name. As long as it's called This Is My First Web Page, you can edit it forever and keep uploading it, and you will always get the last copy. That's what you'll see. There won't be multiple copies there. Good luck, and if I can help, just let me know.